What's going on everybody? You all with Tree Boy for Life. And in this video, you know I've seen a lot of videos on spikes, but not too many of them show you being able to take apart their spikes and put on hardware or put on pads, put on new straps, and also gaff care. Um, and if you notice, on these spikes in particular, these are some older style Buckingham spikes. The gaff is welded on. Some gaffs are replaceable, whereas these aren't. But I'm just going to show you a little quick tutorial about how to do this. So step into my office. I'm going to do this one spike at a time and basically all you're going to need is some kind of either kind of wrench or saga wrench and a flat head and maybe a file. Just a few tools. I mean everybody, sometimes spikes are a little different but they don't vary too much. But basically you start off by taking the strap off here. That's really simple. And you can see, all you would do then is kind of squeeze the pad and work the gaff out. And you pull it out, then you have your pads set to the side. And then, this clip is similar to a, for your lower strap, this clip is similar to a keychain. So you take your flathead. Same way you would do a keychain. And you feed it through. Of course, it's a lot easier on a keychain than being doing it on these spikes. There's your lower strap. And generally what you're left with, especially on like, these are some older style Buckingham spikes, again. And you can kind of see how much of a clearance I have here between the ground whenever I step down. And generally my type of spike, what I like to use is like this. Um, sometimes you have the gaffs that extend further on. Sometimes you, that's the difference between a pole or a tree climbing gaff. But generally, I prefer a welded gaff as opposed to replaceable because I, I just don't like the idea of something being able to come loose. Even though it holds up pretty well, um, and I'll show you this part while I was saying, when you adjust your spike. Now this is why I wanted to show you why you can adjust your spike. I'm going to show you something. Okay? Now, I'm going to take this loose and all you do is a little small screw and you take it loose. So, get it loose for you guys. basically slides off and that gives you adjustability of where you want your gaff to be and I'm just gonna put this in here and show you real quick the difference on these spikes and I'm just gonna kind of sit this in here get it situated I'm gonna switch over now something a little bit faster okay I want you to put that back on right there Okay, now I'm going to put a pad on and I'm going to show you a difference. Okay, I'm going to slide the pad back on. Okay, 
step out here and I'm going to show you something. Notice the difference. See? This gaff compared to this gaff, and you'll see a big difference if you really look. You can see the clearance and the height. A lot of guys tend to have their spikes too low to where they don't really have a lot of clearance or they have too much clearance between their knee and their, their top upper pad. But that's depending on the person. Some people like climbing like that. Some even go lower than this. But generally, it's, it's best in my experience. And this is just my opinion. You know, you find what works best for you is to have just a small clearance above your or, or between your knee and your upper pad because of the flexibility that, that affords you when you strap this on. Now, of course, I got these on backwards, but I did that to show you. But that's what you want to um, take into consideration with your spikes. A lot of guys didn't, you know, they didn't show you that in their videos, but that's one way you can adjust. And um, okay, I'm going to throw this one to the side. And one other thing I want to show you, get it back over here to my old vest. Okay. Now, sharpening your spikes. Now, you see that. Most of the time, spikes, even not unless you've stepped on something really hard or your metal, it's kind of, I mean, most of the time they're hard still and they're not like pot metal where they just don't pop off, you know. So I generally just take as a rule, nothing like, nothing special, but if I need to file something down just to get a burr or two out, just kind of, just a light file, almost like you're doing your chainsaw, just a light, just to keep that edge on there, just a light just like that. Nothing major to smooth that out. Just enough to be able to gap the wood. And you can see it still catches really good. And of course, it would do a whole lot more. But you can see that's still plenty sharp. Now, with my weight on it, I could drive it into the, this little tree. But it's a little piece of cherry. But just, just to show you how sharp it still is. And that's what I generally like to do. Some of the gaps that are replaceable are really tiny. So you have to be really careful about them in the aluminum style. That's why I prefer the bigger um, style gaffs like this and, the, um, again, the welded gaff. But generally, they stick pretty good. So that's what I wanted to show you guys. So remember that if you're um, wanting to change a gaff's height, that's all you do. Find the right tools. And I'll put this back together real quick to show you. Don't take long. It does not take long for you to be able to do this. Just take it, extend it out to wherever you want it, and then you go to work. And it can get pretty high too. I mean, you can go really high with this bad boy, but generally you wouldn't want to go too high. But depending on how high from your knee to your foot is, you can adjust it. But I'm going to move it back where I had it. Okay. Okay. Get that tight as you can get it. Don't over torque it. It's tight enough that it won't move. Okay, squeeze your pad back on. Pop it in there. And then too, if you have to replace your pads, it's really simple. Most of the time your straps hold up a lot better than your pads do. With this pad, you can see it's really worn down. I've had it for quite some time. But, again, just feed your strap through the back of this thing. Sorry about that.
there go. It's preference really on how you want your gaff to be on there, but I like my ring coming off the, the long part. Yeah, it comes down to preference. Sometimes you just got to figure out what works best for you and you roll with it. Okay, now that we got that assembled, okay, our pad is good to go. And then to check out my other video too, I got a video on um, not only on how you can wear your gas or your spikes, yeah, I got a playlist um, that's featuring tree climbing spikes. Check it out. And same thing when you put your clip on, it's the same difference. You just find that little hole, kind of pop it with that flathead. It's like a keychain, y'all. Then you put it on there. Slide that bad boy. There you have then your straps back on. Now however you choose to put it on or take it off, it's just that simple. And so there you have it. Again, you're on with me, Tree Boy for Life, and this has been about adjusting your spikes to fit you. And I hope this helps. Um, again, rate, subscribe, comment, and continue to look at some of my videos. I'll look at yours. I really appreciate it. Take care. Peace out.